Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rizzo. I'm Zero. And I'm DK. On this episode of Anime Reaction, we watch the eighth episode of Suka Suka. If you want to check out our reaction to the eighth episode of Shumatsu Nani Shite Ka, Isogashi Desu Ka, Sukute Murate I Desu Ka, hit that link in the description below. And be sure to give us feedback in the comment section because we love hearing from you. And as always, if you would like what you see, subscribe to Otaku Saga. And don't forget to like and share our videos. And, and thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. Still so. the longest name ever. <laughs> right. Oh, good God. <laughs> but yeah, this episode we got to uh, really... Cthul Catholi, uh forgetting the pepper. Uh, uh, and a lot of other things, too. Yep. <laughs> brain damage. And brain also damage. being cute. Oh, damn right adorable. Oh, excuse me, uh, damn right adorable. Yeah, we also find out that we uh, we now have a second team going to the surface because the dug weapons that they found are of great importance, apparently. Well, so Willem ends up having to go over to Island 49 to meet with a, I guess, first-class technical officer. A dick. Oh god, I hate people like that so much. Napoleon complexes. Oh. And if you're wondering why I hate people with Napoleon complexes, it's because I'm usually a target of, of them because they feel so inferior because I'm so tall. Yeah. And they're so short. Always remember the holy incantation. Don't get short with me, Frodo. <laughs> well, I worked for Adam Sandler. Right. <laughs> Almost everybody is shorter than Rizzo. Yeah. But yeah, it right. was actually really interesting that. Uh, actually, funny enough, we went to Phantom Acon. There were a lot of tall guys weekend, there. Actually, there was some tall people there, but I didn't, I didn't actually see anybody there that was taller than me. Not a single one. Close, but very close. Not, there was yeah, there was one guy who was very, very close, but nobody who was taller than me. Or even my my height. So, but uh, yeah, I've been really, saying that for years. Sketchy. If I was really in shape, then I would cosplay as a colossal type. Unfortunately, I'm not. I said do it anyway. You'll still scare people. Um. Anyway, back to the show in yes. question. Uh. So yeah. Apparently, Willem Willem finds out the actual sort of they unearthed at basically his birth town. Yeah, his 500 hometown. years ago. And uh, the sword in question... Has the ability to protect the uh, mental capabilities of the user. So he thinks that the sword would be able to stop the mental deg degradation that Catholic's experiencing. Which she is trying her damnedest to hide and just... just put on a bad face, off. as Willem puts it later. Man, that is so hard. So, so tough. Again, I mean, yeah, you're seeing Catholi go through this whole process of the venenium poisoning and her uh, encounters with the little red-headed girl inside her head. It's heart-wrenching. It really is. And, uh, like, I said it, I, I think I said in the reaction, wa watching watching uh, memory degradation go through somebody... Yeah. It's, it's rough. It's really rough. And I know it's rough to watch something and almost feel that repeat. Um, I have I have two member, two friends, family members. Mm. I have two people that I know that have gone through a lot of memory degradation. So, it's hard. I think this series is capturing it perfectly, though, because it's going through a lot of episodes of her, her memory going downhill. And that's really it. It's moments, it's episodes. Yeah. That really kind of hit home that, hey, you know, their mind is deteriorating. You don't get any other clue, you know, watching them go through day-to-day -day stuff. And, yeah, it's, uh, it's very authentic, especially if you have a relative who has a neurodegenerative disease or something like, as a Alzheimer's or dementia to make a real world parallel there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was definitely hard. <clears throat> and yes, uh, Casper um, 
definitely considering raising the flag now. Well, there, there's some sort of flag. That's for sure. <laughs> well, especially because she's going with Willem to the surface on a rescue mission. Because technicalities. <laughs> oh, because like you said, I'm wife and you do as I say. I am your wife, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> she might as well have said that. Right? Right. It, it would totally be in character and totally be adorable. Oh, man. And then we get this nice little thing at the end where, well, not nice. Not scare. Nice. Complete scare. Mm. And this interaction between Willem and Catholi. You know, right, right when Willem... Oh, tries to save the suicide blonde? <clears throat> yeah, well, right after Willem kind of resigns himself to the fact that he actually does care about Catholi. Mm. Um, he does say that he like tries to keep her at arm's length because she he knows that there's something wrong with her and that that she's probably not gonna last. And that that's hard to do. But you know after after that realization and having this kind of heartfelt moment where in the reaction we're like Yes, finally, when Willem grabs her hand and, you know, they're sitting there watching the shooting stars. We, then we are reminded that this is Suka Suka. And you're not going to get that fairy tale ending that easily. Nope. If at all. Well, okay, so the dumbass blonde girl. <laughs> but they should have let die at this, the first No, time. at this point, I'm like, Jesus Christ, just let her die already. <laughs> Send her off first. She is a liability. <coughs> Man. But yeah, to Miss Liability here <laughs> falls off the roof. Um, both Willem and Catholi take off as fast as they can. Catholi gets there first. Well, Catholi barely gets there in time. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, if Catholi hadn't have done that, then the little girl probably would have died. Goodness. Which I, yeah, I wouldn't necessarily think was a bad thing. I know that makes me sound horrible, but holy shit. <laughs> At this point, it's more like play stupid games, win stupid prizes. And here is your sign. Pretty much. <laughs> oh, man. Sort of. Um, no, not really. That, that was horrifying. I, I really, really like like that the, uh, the screenshot that Y2N just gave. That interaction between Willem and Catholi mm. really just cements. I I love those moments. And then yeah, we get the bath scene right after where she gains more red hair. Elk. Oh, so that's her name. name. Yeah. I, I elk. thought she was swearing. Right. <laughs> I gotta say though, the pink highlights is definitely kind of hot. So I like them. I like them, even though it's a sign that she's dying. Or I kind of wish that it just wouldn't over. continue. Hmm. Because yeah, that, that's painful. Maybe it's not a sign of, de of mental degradation. Maybe it's a sign that she's losing herself to elk. You know, for a very long uh, switch, as it were. And I actually I actually got this idea that it's kind of like. It's almost like a movie that I saw, the uh, the Covenant, where it had a group of witches who were able to use uh, use magic up to their like I think twentieth birthday or eighteenth. One of their birthdays, and they they could use it almost almost infinitely up to that point, and then ah. at that point. Anytime, it starts to drain their life force. Yeah, and they start becoming really, really fucking old, really quickly. I remember more. actually, yeah, I saw a movie. And as they use off. the power, they get more addicted to it. it, and they just can't stop until they're old and wizened. Yep. Yeah, yeah. This is sort of like that. Catholi's <laughs> up to this point. Catholi's been used to being able to just whip On out demand. her powers whenever she wants, and but she can't get away. Yeah. Oh God, her ass. <laughs> Whip it good. No. Lonely Ram and Ram, Loki. mother. 
It's Catholic confirmed. <laughs> also, Negalotho, though. Oh, yeah. Negalotho. I mean, yeah, she doesn't have a chance, I do wonder but, oh, how damn. dense Willem is. <laughs> you should have seen signs by, by this point. Right. It's hard to tell sometimes. It really is. I don't know. I'm kind of with Willem on this point, though. I'd, I'd be kind of scared of Negalotho. Yeah. Because she does so. actually want to eat him. And not in a good way. <laughs> not for real. Right? But yeah, um... yeah then, then it end up as a praying mantis situation. Well, I guess I'll die. Well, then. you get to have sex, but then she's going to eat you for sustenance. That's why they made the ball gag. Ooh. Oh my. This went weird. I'm being totally anyway. pragmatic about this. So let us know what you thought of the anime, what you thought of our reaction in the comment section below. Thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of Anime Reaction, because this conversation is going downhill. Yep. I'm DK. I'm Zero. And I'm Rizzo. See, See you, you next time. time. And go ahead and click on my face to go to our most recent Dotaku Saga Talks. Click on my face to go to Otaku Saga Gaming, our gaming channel. And click on the way to subscribe to Otaku Saga. And if you'd like to help support us, please go ahead and check out our Patreon page.